Yeah, hi. Oh, ready, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your early morning, late out of date, NXT review. This Wednesday night war, guys, is the greatest fucking night. Ralph, wrestling is back. Wrestling is live and well. Uh, I'm bored of tears. Oh, it's like really just smarky shit. Of course, like fucking only smarky fucking fans are gonna kind of like this shit. Oh, but you're not a real wrestling fan if you don't like it. Like, fuck off. I don't care. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. Just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't give a shit. I try to watch both shows. Well, not really, but. <laughs> like, uh, the thing is, yeah, I just basically, you know, I started with NXT for some reason. Because that's, like, the first thing I turn on. I mean, I was going to fucking just turn on AEW first. And then fucking, yeah. But that was mainly turned off by fucking disgusting She-Hulks. Uh, open the show. Can you stop with fucking trying to push the women as big time? Especially when the women don't even look attractive. At least back today when you had women fucking opening the show, they were hot. And like people did fucking turn off the television. You know? It's just disgusting She-Hulks. They didn't offer nothing. They really don't. Just fucking disgusting feminazi She-Hulks really. You know what I mean? They look like men. It's not good stuff. Like, I, and plus, like, I know back when I started this thing, like, I fucking was watching fucking both shows. I was watching in between, like, a fucking room. Cause I had fucking two TVs, but, like, I'm, like, I'm just too, like, I, I give up that shit. Now, fuck it. I'm just gonna concentrate on one show. And plus, like, at least with fucking AEW, it has more of a better presentation. This is a fucking show that's on fucking television now. The fact that now it's, like, a third fucking brand's retarded. The fact that it's fucking now, you know... Fucking, it's, it's on TV, even though it's on NXT, and fucking, just, it's, yeah, like, of course, like, that's why it's, like, you know, that's why I'm doing reviews, like, even though NXT has always been a thing on Wednesday nights, <coughs> or Thursdays, but now Wednesdays, but now, you're on TV, and for God's sake, it's, like, it's not, it doesn't have a good presentation for television, like, that's why people would probably, like, watch AEW more. But the thing is, like, it doesn't excuse the fact that both shows are not really fucking good and, for God's sake, you know what I mean? It just came with this marky shit. This is really W's indie fed. And yeah, thinking about, about this also. Like, literally, this fucking show, I just realized they're included, they're like doing two feuds. Like, every wrestler has like two feuds, or they're fucking, they're doing fucking. They're like two robbers for each wrestlers and shit, you know? They're like, uh, yeah, I real with that fucking stupid brand warfare. Like, for no reason, you're having brand warfare with NXT involved because Survivor Series is retarded. And fucking, they're gonna do their own pay per war games. This is just really dumb, like, oversaturation crap. It's like, it's really retarded, you know? And it doesn't that help when fucking one story, there's like not even an actual storyline going on, you know what I mean? The first, so the show starts with fucking tranny she-hulks. What we fucking do? One looks like fucking, fucking Ripley or Rip, <laughs> Rip. I was gonna say Pete Dunn, but yeah, fuck, you could just literally say Pete Dunn looks like real Rip. Oh my god. How does that make Pete Dunn, make me think of Pete Dunn now? God damn. So yeah, one that fucking looks like Pete Dunn, this fucking disgusting tranny she-hulk bitch. Versus a fucking legit tranny trying to call herself a man. What we fucking do? The match ends with a fucking so um oh yeah oh Spectacles just fade who cares and fucking yeah the for, yeah the match ends like a fucking DQ whatever the fuck I don't I don't care who wins it's like an old contest DQ or something and fucking yeah the they, the horse face women try to attack them get yeah, horse face women because they're a bunch of horse faces am I right and fucking yeah fucking they get fought off okay. I was gonna say, yeah, grab your soul in a wine glass and fucking, you know, casual glass and drink it so magnificently, and then, you know, fuck a bitch. You know, you can get, you, you know, when you give it to a bitch, you fuck her in a big black couch. It's good stuff, but I don't have, I can't really drink fucking a Coca Cola right now. I'm on currently allergy medication. Gotta wait like an hour after I take it to fucking, you know, be able to fucking drink and eat whatever the fuck I want. But, you know, it is what it is. Second match, Matt Riddle defeats Ricochet. What we fucking do? Like, anyone's excited or would be intrigued? 
and fucking, uh, fucking ricochet, not ricochet, fucking, yeah, fucking shit scary knack, fucking Nakiru, and fucking Cesaro gets involved, and no one cares, and then fucking they fuck him off, and then Finn Balor attacks for your uh, fucking Matt Riddle, okay, what you fucking do. The third match, ladies and gentlemen, the Undisputed Gear defeats a revival, oh wow, what you fucking do. In the fourth match, fucking K. Lee Ray defeat the Golden Kai, the disgusting cunts. One of them looks like fucking the long box, like some cousin or sister of Bailey. Then they probably just have some connects with each other. They probably just fucking fucking in the garage because they're all disgusting. No one wants them. Um, and then fucking, oh look, the Raw and SmackDown NXT women get involved, and yeah, I don't care. Like I don't know, like I, I don't care. It's just. What happened? Like, I don't know who involved, but it's just I don't care. Oh, Kari say look badass and hot! So, these motherfuckers are attracted to anime. Like, these, this is what these the wrong with wrestling fans. For God's sakes, these fucking fans, they're a fan of fucking bitches who look like 12 years old. And, you know, they, these are the same fans that watch anime or hentai. You know, these fucking smarky fans. They like hentai fucking, they like fucking... Weird shit, you know? <laughs> they like fucking bitches so that look like 12, you know? And she looks like a 12 year old, goddamn. The fifth match, I believe. Fucking Viking Raiders defeat the Forgotten Sons. What you fucking do? And then fucking the main event, Adam Cole defeats Dominic. I don't know, some dom dumb dude named Dominic. Ah, Dominic, love my fan! I love you! Love my fans! Do you love the fans? I don't know, so I guess uh, some different Dominic or fuck. A lamb has to give him the advantage of the war games. What advantage and who cares? Like, why? For God's sake, this is a ladder match. Can't you just be a normal fucking. Like, I, listen, I don't get. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm a stipulation match. Yeah, fuck yeah, a ladder match. But for God's sake, like, it's not even like for a title. It's just a stupid fucking match. I got like, guess advantage. Like, what is that? Could have been like a no DQ, could have been something like a lab match, it's like more for a title or fucking a, a contract for a title. I don't fucking Whatever. And then like, oh Raw and SmackDown and NXT get involved. They get they attack each other. Oh my god. Wow, brand warfare. God damn, brand warfare for what? It makes no sense. <laughs> it, it ruins Survivor series, it ruins everything. This whole brand warfare crap, this pseudo you know like again. Ron Smackdown just had a draft, and fucking it's oh, brand warfare crap. Give me a fucking break. Uh, yes, fucking what happened? Okay, so they got jobbers from Ron Smackdown came out, and fucking Drew McIntyre then gets attacked by some fucking big black fucking fat dude, and fucking and the uh, the Viking rear. Like, oh, oh, we're not gonna fight her. They just jump. It's dumb fucking bullshit. You know, it's dumb indie crap. And then to me, and then fucking. R Rollins comes out to attack Adam Cole, and Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, the f people, oh my god, the fans are so gay, they're chanting, Daddy's here! Daddy's here! Or something. They were chanting, Daddy, here's Daddy, or something. Oh, Daddy. They were literally fucking, they're gay for fucking Tommaso Ciampa. Are you fucking for real? These motherfucking smarts are saying, Daddy's, like, that is so fucking gay. Do you know how fucking fans you fans are, for God's sakes? They go, Daddy's here. You fucking fads. So I'm telling you, these fucking fans are a bunch of fucking fads. That's what they are. They're like, they, they're the ones that like to take up the fucking ass. You know what I mean? God damn it. These are our fucking wrestling fans of today. You don't fucking see fucking people b back in the day changing Stone Cold as Daddy Austin or something. God almighty, you know? God damn, like, god damn, why does this happen in wrestling? They probably invasion, they'll be, they'll be in a threesome with Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gay Gargano and something, you know? Because that's their fucking gay fantasy, you know what I mean? Oh, Johnny Wrestling! Johnny, wrestle me up the ass! Oh, god. Then Tommaso Ciampa and Rollins get in a stupid brawl, like, oh, 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 oh. Like, that's how they fight now. Like, what's wrong with... What's up with these wrestlers nowadays wrestling like that? They're fighting. They're not, like, that's the stupid way to fight. The way they fight now is fucking dumb. And then, like, I need to turn off. Ah, oh, NXT and Raw and SmackDown. Well, I don't care. It's just how it ends. So stupid fucking Raw and SmackDown. Raw and SmackDown invasion. And I just, like, I just bored of tears. 
or I didn't really care to watch much to care about, you know? So that's all I done, Sam, just keep it real, motherfuckers. Guys, me, must be guys, be guys, yeah, be like, fetch a fucking beef from my couch and treat a sono. I'm not my fucking Coca Cola wine glass yet, but you know, drink soda so magnificently and you know, whatever it is. Yeah, it's brand warfare and I don't care. Alright, it was just basically your typical gay indie tripe for WWE's version of indie rock bullshit to appeal to Smarks. And Smarks are gay, they're chanting gay daddy to fucking Tommaso Champ. Are you kidding me? And all these wrestlers suck. Like, these are the stars we have for this invasion, ladies and gentlemen. And literally, like, the only big star you kind of had was Seth Rollins. <laughs> wow, what a joke over this fucking brand warfare. Really, it is what it is. Let's fuck this survivor season. Let's fuck war games. I don't care. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.